Hey, welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily and I'm here today with the Earth Overdrive from Dogman Devices. If you haven't already seen my demo of the Fire Fuzz or listened to the episode Get Offset did with Lance Giles of Dogman Devices, don't worry, don't even stop this video, but at the end of the video in the end screen, I'm going to link to both of those. So please check them out. But Lance is a pedal builder uh, right now based out of Ohio, which is where I'm from. So that <laughs> puts it a little bit like close to my heart here. But Lance is still doing these really cool um, hand engraved pedals. So everyone, every single pedal is unique. It's different. And it's his original design on, on the insides. So uh, I really love the Fire Fuzz. I have not really played around much with the Earth Overdrive yet, but it's two knobs, so I it's simpler than the pedals I did last week. I feel like I deserve a bit of a break after last week. So we have a volume knob and a gain knob on the pedal this time. Really excited to do it. Um, I'm going to be playing through my Strymon Iridium Round B setting on my Squire Paranormal paranormal series supersonic guitar um i have lawler imperial pickups in that i'm going to be using the split the split coils on that one yeah and i'm really i think you guys are gonna like it and oh yeah and for the bass <laughs> i'm going to be playing my fender player series mustang bass into my um fender rumble studio 40 wow i just kind of blanked on that one no big deal. It happens. It happens. Uh, without further ado, here is the Earth Overdrive from Dogman Devices. Enjoy. I was just adding a little bit of um, room reverb there on the Iridium. the volume turned down a little bit on the iridium because i'm watching for clipping i'm not actually 100 percent sure right now what the volume is like i've kind of changed my processes a little bit so um forgive me <laughs>
this was on single coils, it was on humbuckers. So now I'm gonna try it actually on single coils. <laughs> on the podcast he, he had lived in Minneapolis and he said that the first place he worked in Minneapolis they said like what's your favorite Prince song that was like part of the get to know you questionnaire and he couldn't he's like I know Prince songs but I don't know the names of them so. up all the way that that's a me problem not a pedal problem that's a me compensating for, for um my dog at the moment <laughs> on the guitar i don't have a lot of overdrives that are kind of in this range right now i did the thing where i now only seem to have super duper heavy pedals but this one's really unique in that not having a tone knob and it really gives it a very unique low end i think <laughs> I rolled up all the way like that is what I meant to say. Well, that sounds awesome. I'm really curious to hear it on the bass. So stick around for the bass portion of the demo. I'll see you in a second. very tasty.
fail. Well, there you have it. That is the Earth Overdrive, one of the newest offerings from my friend Lance at Dogman Devices. It's a really nice overdrive that goes from tasteful to just really, really uniquely voiced uh, up in this higher, higher gain register, especially on guitar. I think I prefer this one on guitar. Um, and it's just so, gosh, the Fire Fuzz is such a nasty, gnarly beast in, like, a, the way you want a fuzz to be sometimes. And it was really nice to see, like, some traces of that, like, grit, especially as you get into uh, the higher the higher gain settings. And it's, like, it's, it's a really nice pedal. I'm really excited for everything Lance has been, been able to get up to this year. Um, and I really think that you all should check him out. At least give him a follow. I know he has a lot more planned for 2020. So hopefully, hopefully someone among us can make, can make a good 2020 for themselves. And it's kind of nice to see. So yes, again, it's Dogman Devices. Uh, check them out. Please like, comment, subscribe below. If you want to shop for pedals, uh, check out the link in the description that goes to Reverb.com. We get 1% cash back on all of your Reverb purchases if you use our link to get to Reverb.com. And if you don't have a DistroKid account and want to release your music on iTunes, on Spotify, uh, put it up on YouTube. I even You can even get like your songs as an option in Instagram stories when you add a music to an Instagram story via DistroKid. If you sign up for DistroKid via the link in our video description, we get a kickback and you save 7% on your first year of membership. It's like everybody wins. Um, but even if you can't support us in any sort of way like that, we completely understand. Thank you for watching. Thank you for understanding. Uh, once again, my name is Emily. Goodbye.